Welcome back, fellow gamers, to the edition of the Ratscast. So, right here, as always, coming to you from the wonderful world of Tamriel. We're outside the Hard Bridge, and we are getting ready for the final assault on Cold Harbor and Molag Ball. The stage has been set. The planar vortex has been destroyed. The plane meld has been dealt with. And now it's time to return learn under the protection of the great Akatosh and preventing Rolag Ball from making any more attempts to suck Nern in the Cold Harbor. At least that's what's supposed to happen in the storyline. The funny part is, is that uh, the Dolmens keep dropping, the Eric Anchors keep coming. It doesn't really stop. Where it's more uh, just, I don't know, hearsay. Storylines have been nothing short of legendary. With the plane meld at an end, Tamriel may yet endure. Now the time has come to confront Molog Ball and reclaim your soul. What must I do? You must lead the five companions into this final battle. We are all of us prepared to sacrifice our lives to see this through to the end. Our plan is to use the Amulet of Kings to invest you with the power to do battle with the Daedric Prince. But should I expect? No doubt the God of Schemes has rallied his most powerful servants to his side. But his arrogance has already proven to be his undoing. He may not even consider you a threat. We shall endeavor to prove him utterly, catastrophically wrong. I am ready to get started. go heart's grief I'm hoping I survive this. Uh, it's gonna be close. I'm really out of potions or anything, so. Come here, Vestige. I'd like a word before we skip off merrily to our doom. Hmm. Hold on. I only have one of those left, so I gotta figure out which is the most powerful potion I have. Sign in the place because I'm more than likely going to need it. I'll save the other one for later when I'm ready for the go against Molag Ball. The time is at hand. Stop second guessing yourself. Stop questioning your resolve. Just stand up and do it. You're ready. What do you mean? This is it. The beginning of the blasted end. There's no point in pretending this isn't happening or saying we're not ready. This challenge will not wait. Can you do what is necessary, no matter the cost? No matter how much it grieves you? Marvel has my soul. Is there a, a choice? There is always a choice. But you don't get to choose what is true. You only get to choose what you will do about it. Do you need a reminder about what lies ahead? I know it needs to be done. Let's just get done. Remember, we have to choose 
between Sai Sahan, the other Titan Born, or Varus Aquilaria to be sacrificed. There is no right or wrong answer in this. We don't really have much of a choice. I believe we actually have a choice, a, a real choice, is foolhardy. And there's the statue again of good old Molly. Again, there is no right or wrong answers here. This place is alive with pain and suffering. This must be where Molag Bar torments those who displease him. Another Titan. Now if we look around, you can see a few uh, skeletons and stuff. Look there. Is that Manamarco? Oh yeah. And here's Aleph. Comrade, Aleph never thought to see you again. What are you doing here? Then, then you need Aleph. She worked at the Master's command for years. Quiet, careful. She knows things, things, things that you want to know. 
<laughs> Why would I ever trust you? Oh, think of the things we did together, comrade. Our hunt for the traitor, fighting the Dwemer constructs. Remember, Ailey, your friend. Ah, uh, she's not my friend. <laughs> The main's pet. Are you here to huh. let me out? I can't hmm. wait to dig my fingers into your very soul. Mm -hmm. You're not making a very convincing argument. I refuse, <laughs> refuse to grovel and wet myself for your amusement. I served the master, taught his lessons, reveled in his power. I knew what awaited me if I failed, and I'd do it all again if I could. It's my small-minded nephew, Jabba. The lad was petty and cruel for the enjoyment of it. I always suspected he'd meet an untimely end. Leave hmm. it to his fate. It's kinder than he deserves. <laughs> uh, now, you gotta remember, this changes depends on who you talk to. Okay? Um, if you come... When I came through with my Argonian, um, it was an entirely different set of people. place here hmm I don't think it's anybody else I think all these are corpses um yeah so I thought either empty or just all corpsed ah the prince King, I am the rightful ruler of the Isles. Let me out of here. Let me out of here, that I might take my place. Yeah. No thanks. Basically, the only person missing is uh. Kennedy, I can't lady S3, but uh, you know, we know where she's at. Dang it, I blocked that. But there was a Nord woman who uh, ends up betraying you, ends up here. I actually rescued her, and she just dissolved into nothingness. Well, I bought one. I let her leave. So it doesn't matter if you try to release, release them or not. They're not going anywhere. You come to gloat at my torment. Yes. Is your appearance here a part of it? Ah, you're still alive. I am neither alive nor dead. I am trapped in a couch of ash and bile and swirling vapors. My ears are filled with the screams of thousand nails being drawn and the pain the pain is endless oh, I my head here. Is and an abject lesson to others who would thwart him my plan was flawless my machinations were executed to perfection I would have been a god not for you my, my only consolation was that you will know this pain soon enough. 
I'm here to defeat him and take his soul and take my soul back. Arrogant, presumptuous, egotistical twaddle. Bit of costume jewelry is nothing compared to the master's power. I expect I'll be seeing you soon. <laughs> my only joy for the rest of eternity will be hearing your tortured screams. So be it. Manimark. He was a backstabbing hypocrite with the delusions of godhood. The fool got precisely what he deserved. Yep. And no one's arguing with him. Now you can see right there, the switch is there. I could release him if I felt like it, but it's not happening. Like I said, more than likely he's not going near anyways, like I said. I did that for one other person and like I said, she just ended up being... Well, I don't know if she was killed or... Uh, decaporalized or whatever it was they do but she just disappeared in flame and ash Moloch Ball is not allowing any of his prisoners to go anywhere it's not possible Moloch Ball is here Ah, oh, Vera, thanks for joining me. Uh, you missed it, unfortunately. Uh, in the room just past us is Metamarco in torment and torture. It's was fun to watch, as always. We have the ability to release him, but I'm not doing that. I'd rather sit there and gloat over his stupid body for a while and then take off. Ah, crap. I hate harvesters. Okay. I love how they follow me even in death, but they don't fight her. Not until I'm awake. Okay. Alright, health potion is almost back up again. That's better. The seat of tyranny. There. That place should serve us well. Yep. Let's assemble and prepare the ritual. What do you suppose this place was? A temple of some kind. The dark anchors may have pulled it into Cold Harbor. Perhaps it was created by the Daedra to mock the divines. What does it matter? We can't wait any longer. We must perform the ritual. Vestige, it is time for you to make your decision. Yep. Unfortunately. We've run out of time. Yes, this will be close enough, I think. Are you prepared? No one is more surprised than I. They are willing to sacrifice themselves to save the world, yet they will never hear a single word of thanks. A funny thing for a selfish man to say, isn't it? Hmm. I'd better be careful not to learn anything from this. <laughs> I love that line. <clears throat> uh, how can I choose? I've no idea. Speak to them. Let their own words convince you. But once the choice is made, there is no turning back. The harvest of a fresh soul will no doubt bring Molag Baal's attention upon us. You must take that opportunity to strike him down. There's no other way. Been over this. You need an infusion of divine power to even consider challenging a Daedric Prince. The Amulet of Kings can give you that power, but at the cost of a life. 
What sort of power should I expect to receive? The Amulet of Kings is a relic of Akatosh, the dragon god of time. His powers embody the qualities of perseverance and invincibility, while promoting the virtues of duty, service, and obedience. Make of that what you will. Okay, so what do you want us to say? See that look in your eye, Vestige. I wonder, am I to be the one? I know that I would consider it a great honor. It would be a fine death. You sound very confident. When you live each day as if it were your last, as I have, eventually you'll be right. I was born to die a hero's death. I've always known this. I've always been prepared for it. You really want me to choose you? I once swore to protect my emperor and failed. I cannot allow him to sacrifice his life in my place. Nor can I ask this of Lyris, my snow lily. She is more important to me than she will ever know. Please, give me this honor. Lyris Titanborn? We've the daughter of giants? Ah, oh, yeah. But adventures are what you call them when everybody comes back alive, so... Maybe they've come to an end. I don't regret any of it, though. Not for a moment. Nor do I. My father once told me that the most important thing anyone can know is what they would die for. I know that now. Hey, young, you still have a long life ahead of you. I feel like I've already lived a dozen lifetimes. I'm so tired. And I look forward to seeing my parents again in Sovngarde. If my death has meaning, then so will my life. It would be my great honor if you would choose me. And now, the former Emperor, Varen Aquilaris. We fight for our people. We fight for Tamriel. Evil might be kept at bay for a time, but it can never be completely eradicated. What is important is that we resist it, that we fight on and keep fighting. What did the other scroll say about this moment? Very little. The scrolls can see many things, even possible futures, but they are not infallible, and they will not make this choice for you. You cannot cross the sea simply by standing and considering the water. Be strong, Vestige, and act. Or if I make the wrong choice. There is no such thing as a safe choice. There are only other choices. Oblivion did not make me a monster. It just confirmed my own worst fears about myself. It would be fitting and honorable if you were to choose me. It would be a fine death. So, who would you choose? Sai Sahan? Lyris Titanborn or Varen Aquilaris. To say this is a hard choice um, would be an understatement. For the two warriors, they would be the most fitting of ends because they are warriors and they expect to die a warrior's death. But for Varen, it's redemption. His arrogance, his ego, caused this and his death will make it right when I play this and I have gone through this twice before and come to this point twice before I had to consider this And as I stand here again, considering this, I really only see one choice. Varen Aquilaris caused this mess, created the soul burst with his own arrogance, his own hubris, as he likes to put it. He broke the bonds of Akatosh and he should be made to 
to suffer. Remember Vestige. We buried it. There is no such thing as a safe choice. And redeem that mistake. Listen yourself over there, Vestige. And brace yourself. We'll never forget you, sire. Or your sacrifice. Great Akatosh. Dragon God of Time. Forgive me for my hubris. You also lied to us. Divine power to the vestige and restore your protection to Tamriel. That my sacrifice might not be in vain. History may not remember your sacrifice, but those present here will never forget it. Divines of Tamriel, with this vessel of your power, the amulet of kings, I call upon your strength. Let this noble sacrifice be a testament to our desire to set things right and restore balance to the Mundus. Your champion stands ready. Accept this offering and imbue this vestige with your glory. Let the will of Molag Baal be denied. Vestige, now is the time. You must ascend the path and face the Daedric Prince. You must face the God of Schemes alone. I will get the others to safety. Go! Nice armor, huh? No time to talk. Time to charge in. There we are, ladies and gentlemen. The final battle begins. Let the will of Moloch Ball be defeated. Your continued meddling has reached an end, hero of Tamriel. I don't think so. Has your tiny mortal mind snapped? But the power really you can defeat me. Oops. But the power we've been granted. Oh, there it is. The divines have given us great power to destroy and vanquish the data that before us. The dark machinations of oblivion are far more complex than anything your mortal senses can comprehend. More powerful than anything you can send at us. His arrogance will be his downfall. will be legendary even in oblivion yeah Now we form the bridge and we're ready to go.
forces of Moloch Ball cannot stand before the will of the Divines. Still you fight on? You care nothing for your own existence? Oops. Oh, I need that. I care greatly for my own existence. However, I like to have a soul. My existence is nothing without it. Right now, I'm living one sky shard after another. Is there anything that keeps us alive in this form? We need our soul back. We need to be whole again. And there's only one way to do that. Let's end this once and for all. And there he is. I am God of Oblivion. You are less than nothing. I don't think it's over that easy. Adric Trinket can't defeat me. I am Molag Bar, Lord of Domination. What is this, infant? Do you think your Torque can slay? A god. Just in case. Oh, shoot. Your mind is naked to me. I can taste your fear. Ah, oh, there's no fear. From the seas of eternal torment. I ran out of food. Tamriel is right.
face of pain. The souls of the damned are my weapons. You will know eons of suffering. The easiest way out of this battle is to stay out of his flames, stay out of the circles. If you can stay out of the, 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 the hot zones, you will take less damage. Ah, shit. Got caught behind that rock. And now comes the final blow. Come forward, Vestige. You are safe for now. Something precious to you has been riven from Stonefire's being. I have brought it here for you to reclaim. Congratulate you, little insect. <laughs> Your sting is formidable. You have bested me and released a thousand times a thousand souls back into the Mundus. For the moment, your world is spared. But my grand scheme has only begun to unfold. Excellent. Your power shall prove useful in the coming conflicts. You've made a great and terrible enemy this day. Your world would have been better off if the plane meld had succeeded, had you bowed before me and accepted eternal servitude. I would have protected you. There are worse masters than I. Far worse. You are but a phantom here in my domain, Stonefire. The mortal prophecies of the scrolls have been fulfilled. Leave this place and return to your pit. You have a powerful ally. Did you know that she would bring you here? What future role has she to play in this grand cosmic farce, I wonder? Yeah. Your meddling has already cost me too much. A cursed creature of light and flame. This farce no longer amuses me. And once again, the Lady Meridia. Your soul is restored. I can see its light within you. And you have saved your world from a great calamity. But know this, mortal. The forces of Oblivion are legion, 
And the God of Schemes is but a single player in a complex battle for supremacy. So what happened to Marvall? You have wounded him gravely. It will be some time before his power is restored. And the Amber of Kings? As your enemy fell, the one you call Abner Tharn took Chim El Adabal and fled. He returns to the land from whence he came, the place you call Cyrodiil. They took the amulet with him? The amulet's power has been expended for a generation or more. The Imperial will not be able to use it, nor will he profit from it. Though he will spend many frustrated years in the attempt. <laughs> Did we exceed? Did we save Tamriel? The tear hmm. in the veil between Oblivion and Nirn has been repaired. Your world is safe. For now. And what of my lost companions? Gone forever. But their memory remains. I can see the light burning brightly behind your eyes. Your friend is a part of you now, just as the strength of the divines burns like a flame within your renewed soul. And what about me? Your story has only begun. Molag Ball still has plans for you. In many ways, these events played out to his advantage. And you have attracted the attention of the other Daedric Princes as well. And what must I do? The war between mortal kingdoms is still ravaging your world. But your true enemies are not mortal. If you are to be prepared for the coming conflicts, you must fully comprehend what is at stake. You must live among those you make war upon. The other alliances? Indeed. When you return to Tamriel, Go to the place you call the Harborage. My gift awaits you there. It will allow you to travel to other lands and hide your true nature from those who would see you as a foe. Can you send me there? I have no more desire to keep you here than you had to remain in Cold Harbor. I shall return you to your little den in the wild. Your surviving companions await you there. Are you prepared to leave? Yes, I am. The late Baron Akerlers, Emperor of Cyrodiil. Savior of Nern for his sacrifice. Unbeknown hero. His name will be erased from the histories of Tamriel. And once again, here we are. What? What happened? How, how did we get here? I, I remember being overwhelmed, but then I. Right, sorry about that. I called in a bit of help to pull you out of there. I do hope I didn't overstep my bounds. Slow, Lily. I... I know, Sai. It's over. It's all over. Well then, happy endings all round. Smashing. Who's got the brandy? Wait. Where is Thorn? Did he survive? He vanished. Ran off, I think. And he took the amulet you chaps found with it. Hmm. Yeah, snake. Always oh, forgive himself. You're not going to get all weepy with me, are you? <laughs> I mean, I've got that stoic reputation to maintain. <laughs> now what? But now, for you, it seems there's more to do. For us, we've seen too much, my friend. Been through too much. I think it's time for us to go. Oh, where will you go? Sai and I talked about it a few days ago. What would happen if we both survived? I'd like to go back to the Abbey of Blades with him and help them rebuild. And we'll see you guys again. Maybe someday. It's not as though I'm dropping off the face of Tamriel. Mm -hmm. And if not, well, I'm sure there's a seat for you in Sovngarde. If you get there first, save me a cold mug of mead. Alright. Farewell. Sigh. So, this is where our roads diverge. Uh, Lily, Lily are after the, the Abbey? For a time, 
There's much to rebuild there. And I owe it to Kasura to bring her the news of our victory, personally. Snow Lily and I, well, maybe we shall finally have some time to ourselves. Aren't you gonna go chase after Tharn? To what end? No. Let him return to his Imperial City. He played his role. And that is enough. Grudges are like poison to the spirit. But perhaps as the Abbey of Blades has been rebuilt. Yes. I have never been content to remain in one place for too long. It is not my nature. Eventually I am overcome by the need to endanger myself. Between comfort and adventure, I always choose adventure. <laughs> then perhaps we'll be on the road ahead someday. I would like that. It has been a singular honor vestige. Although I suppose that name is no longer appropriate, is it? Baron would be proud of you. I know we are. Fair well, Sai. And so we come over here and find the light of Meridia shining. And good old Cadwell, as always, there to greet us. I take it you ran into Lady Meridia. Lovely woman, yes. charming. We get on famously. Yes, yes. While you lot were having yourselves an epic row, I gave her a shout, asked if she'd be willing to help us out if things went badly. You asked Maria to pull us out of Cold Harbor. The trick of it was the timing. With every blow to that Daedric windbag, you freed <laughs> hundreds of souls. She was able to catch yours before it wandered off. Tell me good trick, then. Yes, indeed. This is delightful. World saved, heroes gone their separate ways, and this knight has a new mistress to serve. Bravo. Could be a smashy. Truly. Truly. You know, that Varen fellow was always a good chap, even if he did muck things up at the start. The and he did schemes. put things right in the end. He's yes, still he did. with you, you know. A part of you, really. And perhaps he can continue to serve the land and the people that he gave his life to save through you. That's yes. all well and done there. There's just one bit of business left. And that is? I'm positively chuffed things have gone so well. To be completely honest, I didn't think we had a ghost of a chance. <laughs> if we went up against overwhelming odds, we wouldn't be heroes, would we? No, of course not. Okay, what should I do now, Cadwell? Okay, well. itching for more adventure? Smashing. Have you ever wondered what would have happened if you'd woken up somewhere else? Washed up on a different beach? My new mistress provided me with the means to help you if you're up for the challenge. Help? What are you talking about? Touch Meridia's light and see the world through the eyes of your former enemies. But fair warning, you will no longer be seen as a great champion. Even familiar faces will see you as a soulless drifter lost in an unfamiliar land. What say you? Alright. So that's pretty much it, everybody. Um, from this point forward, I touch the stone and will end up uh, in uh, where is it? Uh, Stone Falls, but I'm trying to the city now. Um, Oh, I can't remember the dang city. But I end up in the main city in, in Stone Falls. Um, I can go back to the beginning zones, of course, just like I, you know, did here. But basically, all of the Evanheart Pact is now open to me. When I finish that, I come back here again, touch the stone a third time, or second time, and now I end up in Glenumbra, and all of uh, the Covenant side will be open. And that's pretty much it. That's, I mean, that's really the game. Um, I am currently at, still at vet rank, or champion level 1. Uh, by the time I get done, I should be about 10th level, 11th level, uh, and ready to go into, uh, Craglorn, which is the vet rank zone, and continue from there. Uh, there will be more vet rank zones coming, and other places, uh, other things to keep the veteran characters uh, coming back for more. But honestly, uh, that's our adventure for now. I want to thank you guys for joining me very much. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I appreciate uh, the one viewer I did have come in and uh, watch the final battle. I hope you guys enjoy this. It's uh, so this is a this is a great game. This is a lot of fun. Remember, it is free to play, so whether you have um, 
or by the player, I should say, but you have the console version or the PC version. All you have to do is get a hold of the copy of the game, and boom, you're in. Even if it's a used copy, you should still be able to get in, no problem. I believe you will need a subscription to either the PlayStation Network or the Xbox Live to play the game because uh, you can't team up with people otherwise. Uh, but other than that, um, like I said, you don't really need much of anything else. And if you are a uh, member or if you do own a PlayStation uh, 4 or an Xbox One, you're probably going to want to subscribe anyways because the benefits are usually too good uh to refuse anyways I mean Xbox makes it I mean pretty much <sighs> paramount that you have to have the Xbox Live uh, really to do most things anyways so not having it is kind of foolhardy and as far as PlayStation is concerned there are more benefits in having uh, the PlayStation Network including um, Three games, three free games for the PlayStation 4 every month, which is ridiculous. Um, on top of the games for the PlayStation 3 and the Vita, if you have any of those systems, uh, which me and my family, we do. So we have a lot of games stored up, some stuff we haven't even touched yet. Um, so, uh, a lot to see, a lot to do. Here we are, Davin's Watch, this was on... So we are already in Stone Falls, in the new zone, and we are ready to venture forth into our new life as a FNR pack member. But that is an adventure for another day, as they say. Again, I want to thank you guys for joining me. It has been a lot of fun. Um, I hope to do this again. Uh, not too soon, really. Because I still have a lot to do on Destiny that I have to finish. And, of course, uh, we have LEGO Dimensions that we have to delve into. And we will start doing more of that tomorrow. I do apologize. I was planning on doing stuff today. But it turned out uh, my schedule was turned upside down. And I had to work today. So I wasn't able to do anything else. Um, I have a few things I got to do tomorrow because I couldn't finish in the day. Uh, but we should be get back to live streaming tomorrow. Um, and uh, some on Friday and of course Saturday. So, uh, hope to see you guys all then. Uh, lots to do, lots to see. I'm uh, uh, with this portion of the game done, I'm hoping to get back into. Um, uh, Sticks, Master of Shadows. Uh, it's been a while since I got back to that one, and we really need to finish that as well. Uh, we'll get, so we'll get more into this later, but right now this is going to be pushed on the back burner for a while because I did what I wanted to do. I completed what I needed to do, and that was to show you guys the game in the general whole, how it plays. You've seen uh, a little bit of Cyrodiil. You've seen the Imperial City. Uh, it's all there on my YouTube channel. If you go to Twi Twitter. Maybe it'd be bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you go to Twitter, you'll find the links back to that, and you can catch all the stuff I've done, uh, so you can see it all. Um, and uh, if you have any comments or questions about the game after the fact, please tweet me at Cyberat if I'm not on, because that's the easiest way to get a hold of me. Especially if I'm playing some other game, uh, I'll get right back to you as soon as I can. Um, I usually have my tablet on me, so I respond as soon as I can. Go on a break, whatever, I check my tablet, make sure there's no messages on there for me. Um, so please, please, you know, send me messages. I'm willing to answer any questions you guys have. Um, again, if you like what you see, if you, if you enjoy um, the games I play, or, you know, the way I play them, uh, the information I try to give you guys, you know, Please go ahead and follow me on Twitch or Twitter because they will inform you when I'm on. And you can subscribe to my YouTube channel if you wish. 
Uh, I do appreciate the viewership very much, whether you're here now or catch me afterwards. You know, it means a lot to me. I'm, you know, I've been doing this for just under a year, still kind of new to the whole thing. Um, but I, it, it's, it, this has been such a fun, it's been such a great ride. I'm, I am so um, thrilled that uh, Sony has given me the opportunity to do this. Because this is something I've, I've thought about doing before in the past, something I've always wanted to do in the past. I had my computer set up uh, for live streams, but it just, it was something I just, it just didn't feel right or just didn't, I don't know, I just, I just didn't. Uh, really attached to it until now and PlayStation has made it so easy Sony's made it just so easy to, to come in here and do this with, and, and be here with you guys uh, not only can you watch me on uh, Twitch live but you can watch me on the PlayStation uh, network cast um, when I'm on and again like I said it all uploads straight to YouTube so you can always watch uh, the videos over and over again and just catch things and you know just enjoy the fun um so it's it's this has been an incredible ride and it's been so much fun and i hope you guys continue to join me uh for more stuff down the road because there will be a lot more games coming uh in in the near future that is for sure i'm um still trying to figure out I'm, how i'm doing a lot of this but for sure i am definitely getting uh black ops 3 that's already been paid for it's already been done um the way that uh, uh Best Buy does it, they've already charged it ahead of time, so it's already been it's already over. I have done paid for it. It's it's mine and when it's released it will be here in a couple of days and we will be getting into that and that should be so much fun. I can't wait. I will be getting the um season pass for that because I want to get into the zombies. I'm not a big fan of zombies. I hate zombies, I really do. So it should be fun to watch me, you know, cringe at the side of these damn things trying to eat me. Not looking forward to that part, but it looks beautiful. It looks gorgeous. I can't wait to see what it's going to be like. It's going to be a mixture of fun and terror for me. It's going to be crazy, but it should be fun for you guys to watch. That's for sure. Um, and of course, I want so much uh, to get into uh, Tom Clancy's Division because it looks like a gorgeous game. I'm so so praying that Ubisoft took enough time to get it fixed, to get it right, to get everything done because it looks like such a beautiful, gorgeous game and I don't want to be disappointed again like I was with Watch Dogs. Uh, we'll have to see, right? Only time will tell. Only time will tell. Plus, I'm still looking at trying to get um, the new South Park game, The Fractured Butthole. Gotta love that name. Gotta love that name. It still makes me laugh. Oh god, it's, uh, that still brings a smile on my face. You you can't you cannot say that name, and not laugh and not smile because that's just the, the most ridiculous name ever chosen for a video game. It's juvenile, I know, but still, it's just too much fun. Okay, guys. So, until next time, this is the Cyberette signing out for now. Later, bye, and thank you again.